Do you want your players to be able to change classes in your game? I'm going to show you how to do it and we're starting right now. This is Slick, and he's going to be the guinea pig for this video. I've created three different graphics for him, Face Graphics, Character Graphics, and SV Battler Graphics, and these are to represent the different classes. And hey, let me know in the comments what your favourite class is and why. I'll give you a second. Done? Alright, let's keep going. First thing I'm going to do is go over into the Database Manager, and under the States menu, I'm just going to change the maximum to 32. Like with my video about learning skills from items, we're just going to do another one, and we're going to call this state Class Gem. Then we're going to go over into Items, and we're going to create three different Class Gems. We're going to create the Knight, the Mage, and the Healer. We're going to make this a regular item to the scope of one ally. Its occasion will only be in the menu screen. And then over in Effects, we're just going to create two effects. The first effect is going to Add State Class Gem 100%. And we're going to do that for all of our different gems. We're just going to hit Apply and then head over to our common events. Like without learning Fire from an item skill, we're going to create a new common event and call this Knight Gem, another one called Mage Gem, and another one called Healer Gem. Inside Knight Gem, we're just going to make a conditional branch and we're just going to check if Actor Slick has the state Class Gem. We're going to create another conditional branch and check if Actor Slick has the class Knight. We're then going to tick Create an Else Branch. If Slick is already a knight and he tries to use this item, we'll just show a text box. And because when you use an item, it gets rid of it, we're just going to put that item back into the inventory. Now, if Slick is affected by Class Gem and he is not a knight, then under this Else Branch, what we're going to do is we're going to show animation. We're going to show Light 2. Light 1, 2. We're going to show that over the top of the player. So hit OK, then what we're going to do is over on the first page, we're just going to change class. So Slick will change class to Knight, save level. Then what we're going to do over on the third tab of the event commands, we're going to change actor images for Slick. And we're going to change his face to the Knight. We're going to change his walking sprite to the Knight walking sprite and his battler to the Knight battler and hit OK. Copy and paste this over into the mage, and where it says is Slick a knight, we're going to change that to is Slick a healer. If he is, then instead of you are already a knight, we will say you are already a healer. And instead of giving them the knight gem back, we'll give them the healer gem back. Where we change class, we're going to change that to healer, and the actor images, we're going to change that to the healer actor images. By the way, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more awesome RPG Maker videos like this. Then we're going to do the same thing for the mage gem. If Slick is already a mage, you are already a mage. We'll give him back the mage gem, change his class to mage, and then change his actor images to the mage actor images. Now what we need to do is go back over into the items and under knight class gem, we're going to add another effect. We're going to go over to the other tab, common event, knight gem. We're going to do the same thing for the healer class. We're going to add effect, other, common event, heal gem. And lastly, we'll do the same thing for the mage, other, common event, mage gem. Now we'll create an NPC, which can sell that to him. So I'm going to create a new NPC over here. Be this little kid. Yo, Slick, you want to buy a class gem? Super rare stuff. Then we're going to open the shop processing, which is on the third tab, and select the merchandise. The merchandise will be the knight gem, the healer gem, and the mage gem. And for the sake of expedience, we're going to have the price of these all be zero. Hey, you see this? This cool looking quest board thing right here? That's actually an asset that's available over at my itch.io page. That's level-up-design.itch.io. For just one dollar, you can have this epic looking quest board in your game. And I get one fifth the price of a coffee. Coffee in Australia is expensive, y'all. If everything works correctly. Yo Slick, you wanna buy a class gem? Super rare stuff. So now if we go into our items, and we use the Knight class gem on Slick, you're already a Knight. And you can see we still have that Knight class gem. Let's try and make him a mage. Now take a look at his face graphic, 
and take a look at the clothes he's wearing. There we go, have a look at that. His face graphic changed, as well as his walking graphic. Now, we'll make him a healer. And you can see that because we've used that gem, we can't use it again. It's been... And now you can see because we've used that gem, it's actually used up to get another mage gem. We'll need to buy another mage gem. Let's make him a healer. And there we go, we can see his face graphic has changed, as well as his walking graphic. From myself, and all three slicks here, we hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, and we'll see you in the next video.